Cool. Bugger. Uh, let's get started. Um, do you want to start out real quick by touching on what, from basically a first glance, the consortium key unlocks, and then we'll talk about um, how it compares to other similar offerings and what the, you know, all the information that is unlocked uh, is used for. Yeah, awesome. Um, so the consortium key server will be opening its doors to the actual holders uh, tomorrow morning, US. Um, and what people will get right when they enter, the first and most valuable thing for me as a trader is the curated feed of uh, transaction alerts. And so if you've been in other discords, I'm sure you've seen some level of Moby alerts, things like that. This is completely different. This is a custom database of wallets organized by the most profitable traders and then taking the uh, transactions that they execute and organizing them into a stream of information within different channels uh, so that you can see what's happening, what the movements of the best traders in the market are, and then also have the data available to like execute your own trades based off of that information. And then we'll also have our minting bot built right into our Discord server. Uh, that is also available at launch. And that is something you can use from your phone. So that is very cool. Um, and those will be the, the first real big things along with our uh, NFT and crypto market analysis. So there's daily analysis on both markets. There's weekly analysis on crypto and NFTs. Um, it's going to be really good when we open our doors tomorrow morning, to say the least. That would start us off, Nate. Cool. Uh, so I'll just break it down in layman's turn. The, the purpose of the consortium key is basically a one-stop shop for any trader uh, in general. So if you know, people always ask, if you hold these five projects and you had to cut two, which would you cut? Basically, the consortium key is you don't need any other projects but this one if you're a trader. Uh, and so what does that exactly mean? Like Bogart said, if you want to mint something you and you are at your computer, you could literally go into our server on your phone and use our function and mint from your phone any new mint. Um, the alerts, you get alerted when smart money does stuff and you also get alerted when smart money you know, tweets stuff. So we'll have organiza uh, organized uh, channels for different alerts. Um, if anybody's ever used any other uh, data analytic tools like Nansen, you'll know that yes, they're fucking amazing, but onboarding to Nansen is a overwhelming process. Uh, you have to go out and you have to find the wallets. You have to add them. You have to set up your alerts. You have to do everything. Uh, the consortium key will do all that for you. So it'll put information in front of you curated information. It'll put tools in front of you to mint NFTs and in the future to buy um, new tokens that launch. And it'll also have uh, daily analytic reports from our analysts uh, so you can know why things are happening. So I think if people follow NFTs from the east side, uh, they'd see that the other day Pudgy Penguins you know, pumped to 2.8 ETH from 1.5. Uh, there would be a report that you could, you know, go into the Discord and see why they pumped. What what was the news that pumped them? Uh, personally, it's as a trader myself, all the tools I can get to help me, uh, the better. So there's a lot of smart money people who are buying all of these free mints and making a shit ton of money. And you don't know that they've bought it until they're listing for massive profits. You don't know that people are sweeping goblins uh, as a free mint until they hit the uh, open sea. Uh, these alerts will just send you ping saying, hey, this person that we consider smart money just minted a hundred of these. Or this person that we consider smart money just listed a bunch of these. Or this person that we consider smart money just bought a bunch of these. So it's curated notifications so that you know what we consider smart money uh, to be doing uh, wherever you are. Uh, on top of that, it's pretty much just every other alpha discord put into one uh, with a team of people who know, uh, can anticipate needs. So it's been months and months and we still don't have a discord or a service where you can connect your wallet and get pings uh, for upcoming airdrops or anything for any of the NFTs you hold. Uh, one of the first things we'll be working on 
as well is uh, a tool for you know your role. So if you hold uh, CloneX and Doodles and all these other things, you can assign yourself a role and get personalized pings if there's something coming up that you should know about. So it's basically cutting out all of the noise and giving you the most curated information to know what you should be doing. Um, like sometimes none of us like to like open Twitter because I personally myself, I follow like 3000 people. Sometimes my stuff gets noisy and most of the things are relevant, but a lot of the shit posts make their way to the top, not the actual information. Uh, so you'll see feeds of information in uh, the discord uh, that should give you actual signals that should give you actual information of what's happening, why it's happening and what you can do with that information. Um, so yeah, pretty much it's just tailored notifications so that you know what's happening when it's happening, uh, tools so that if you're like away from your keyboard, you can mint stuff and daily analytic reports so that you can make the best decisions. And then on top of that, it's an alpha community as well. So a lot of people that are, you know, uh, seasoned or aren't seasoned are all working together uh, to, you know, uncover and unveil good opportunities for each other to go into. And at, at this moment, uh, is the consortium key going to make you a millionaire? Probably not. Is the consortium key going to 10x your portfolio right now? Probably not. Uh, is the consortium key going to get you up to date or ahead of the curve? For sure. Uh, if we all look at like the NFT market right now, um, crypto is booming. Like, you know, Ethereum's up 2x from the bottom. It's up 50% this week. So is Solana. Um, but if we look at NFTs, NFTs uh, floor prices are dropping uh, in dollars, they're going up. The volume's non existent uh, in comparison to like what we'd consider a bull market. Uh, and it, there, there's not a, a, a ton of money to be made, but there's good decisions to be made right now. There, are, All we can do is make good decisions. Um, like if anybody follows my Twitter, I used to make calls like uh, months ago or even during WAGDAI. I mean, the last actual call I made was like WAGDAI or something. Uh, maybe DGEN Pound as well. Because most people shouldn't be trading. They should be getting educated. Education will help you move forward. Most people shouldn't be buying and selling right now. They should just be knowing what to look for. Uh, I think one of the last calls I made publicly that like was like a macro call was everybody should be selling their uh, Ethereum into US dollars at 3,200 ETH. I had a lot of people like messaging me saying, thank you, Nate, uh, what next? And my only reply to them was don't know. Just sell your Ethereum, hold your US dollars. Uh, if you see my screenshots on like my Twitter where I posted that, you know, I sold a million dollars of ETH at 3,200 and I never bought back in until we touched 1,200. And then I just averaged in every day. Uh, it, it's, it's just not overcrowding yourself, not shopping yourself, not losing your money making the educated decisions. Uh, and gosh, like there's a lot of useful Twitter accounts that shoot out information, uh, great threads to help you be better, uh, opportunities for people to be, make money on leverage. But when it comes to what people are looking at, like for me, everybody knows I'm looking at OK Bears, but you don't know what else I'm buying on alt accounts that I don't want you to know about. And the reason I don't want you to know about them is they 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 will pump in time when uh, their time comes, but we don't do artificial. So you're not going to see me tweet about it. You're not going to see other like, you know, alpha people tweet about exactly what they're buying and what they're bullish on because no artificial pumps need to be had right now. They'll all be had in good time. So in our discord, when, uh, you know, people who are tastemakers start buying, you'll get notifications on what they're buying. Uh, other people who are out there grinding will share their information when it's time. Uh, obviously, right now it's not time. Uh, basically, consortium key is just an alpha key, uh, like any other thing. Uh, with what I think from what I've seen of other discords, uh, the best analytics tools, the best mint bots, and the best uh, information brought to you for really a fraction of the price. Um, if you're whitelist, it was 0.44 ETH, which when we set the price was $440. Now, of course, Ethereum's gone up is 680 or something. Uh, if you want to mint public right now, it's 0.66 or 0.68, which is roughly like $900 uh, or a thousand almost. Still not crazy. Uh, 
if somebody you know has some money and needs to be reassured by people or reassured by information on the decisions that they're making, a thousand dollars for a lifetime membership isn't crazy. Uh, comparatively to other similar tools, there there are other there are other discords that are just tools, and their floor prices are like three Ethereum right now. There are other discords that are just alpha, and their floor prices are like one to two Ethereum right now. So right now for half the price, you can get both of them. Um, and what exactly will the mint funds be used for? Uh, they'll be used for you know reinvesting back into the information to feed to the community. Uh, so like I said earlier, uh, one of the first things that will be worked on other than the crypto uh, coin minting bot or crypto coin like uh, buying the new token bots is something to connect your wallet to so that you can see um, or not connect your wallet to, but identify what you know what's happening with those projects and if you should be aware of something. So like I have people also messaging me right now, like, Nate, what's this hibernation thing? What do I need to do? Well, if you're in a discord, you'd be getting pinged right now saying, hibernate, you're okay, Barry, so you have 48 hours left. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much like the basics of what the consortium key is. Uh, it's all the information you need to make wise decisions. Uh, who is this for? It's for anybody who plan who plans on trading instead of uh, who plans on trading or plans on long term investing. Uh, if you want to go in there and see what people uh, you know are bullish on long term, uh, they'll give you their opinions. Uh, it'll be tailored. It won't be filled with just like whatever anybody's trying to pump. There'll be tailored opinions. If you're trying to figure out what the sentiment is, there'll be sentiment uh, scrapers as well. So long story short. Uh, we'll get the feel of the market and make reports based on those. Uh, it just takes a lot of the legwork out of, uh, you know, being a trader. I know, like, <laughs> uh, one of the last things I'll say is, like, bear markets are sad, but bull markets are exhausting. Like, in a bull market, there is so much going on that you cannot keep up with everything. You don't have the time. If you have a family or you have a girlfriend, then you're not a trader. <laughs> or you're neglecting your family or girlfriend. So uh, with these tools, it basically just gives you back the freedom to get the information in a tailored way, uh, get an understanding of what's happening without having to spend hours researching or hours scrolling through Twitter. And it basically just helps you make the best decisions. So uh, that's what the consortium key is. The goal of the Mint too, so like many know or many don't know, uh, 0.44 ETH for the whitelist, 0.6 to 0.68, uh, I believe, for the uh, public mint. But after 48 hours, it'll go up to 1.1 ETH. Um, if, if you know, we don't mint out, that's fine. We already have everything done, basically. Aside from the things that we're working on, we can do those with any amount of funds. Um, we can pay the staff no matter what. Uh, but we don't plan on, like, completely minting out right now. This is... Uh, you know, a call to action, like, hey, go mint. Uh, if you want to wait and see what other people in the Discord are saying about their experience with it, that's fine, too. It'll be 1.1 ETH. It'll be the most affordable of its time on the market. Uh, um, but right now, we really just want people to get in there and to see what we've built, uh, to see the system we've made and how clean it actually is at an affordable price before we raise it uh, in the future. And I think people will see that based off secondary listings that people will enjoy this. Uh, and very proud of what the team has like made because like for me, it's it's exhausting in the bull market. I don't want to touch Twitter. I don't want to listen to spaces. I don't want to check uh, the floor of every price every day. I want one spot where I can go in. Like imagine you go into a command uh, channel and you type like at floor price and it lists the floor price of the top 30 nft projects right there in an instant that way you're not <laughs> continually going to gem swap going back to twitter for information going back to discord to discuss it it's all in one place you want the floor it's right there you want the information it's right there you want the discussion it's right there it's all in one plot one one space uh the max supply uh for this round is 2000 so be at this moment 2000 people uh in the discord and that is to get the feel right i know with like a lot of 10k uh nft projects 
you get 10,000 people in the discord and there'll be some intelligent people. There'll be some less intelligent people and there'll just be some people who don't know what they're doing. Uh, and you, it's hard to decipher who is who. So right now we're trying to create a community of people who at least want to better themselves, who at least want to participate and at least want to uh, use the information that we're going to bring forward. So that way in the future, if we do onboard more people, uh, we'll have a strong base already in place to uh, help welcome in those new members, help them know that like, hey, just because your friend said that Doge and Yushiba is going to go to the moon, that's not alpha. Alpha is did you know, 50% of smart money buys come into this project over the last hour or who is listing, who is buying, uh, what's the distribution. Um, so the stuff of that nature, I think once we start to unveil, uh, unveil, <laughs> unveil more channels, people will see exactly what's happening. Uh, Bogger, what exactly has been unveiled so far and what needs to still be unveiled? Yeah, so, well, basically, thus far, you know, none of the key has been opened up. We, it's sort of our take on the NFT reveal is, you know, 48 hours after our initial mint starts is when the server actually opens for people to come in. So right now, when you come in the server, it's really just our uh, public chat lounge for everybody. Um, and yeah, and so we, we really have the whole key to reveal tomorrow, which happens as the min, the initial cheap mint window ends. And something also that I wanted to touch on, you know, a lot of people have said, well, you know, I have Icy, I have Nerds, I have MetaSniper, why do I need this? Well, the consortium key isn't designed to compete with any of those things. It's designed to be useful in addition to the things that you already have as well and fill a need that doesn't exist elsewhere. So yeah, you have MetaSniper, that's a very robust minting bot. Well, you can use the consortium key with the same private key to mint from your phone when you're not home at your MetaSniper. Uh, you have Icy. That's great. Icy will give you great information. Icy is not giving you a curated feed of what wallets we are tracking and that's smart money and what their behavior is in real time. Uh, the goal of the key is really to be following signals and alerts and not calls. You know, by the time somebody calls a project, it's too late. Uh, you know, they've already bought, their friends have bought smart money's in and you're chasing the game. We're here to, you know, get you in at the ground floor. But yeah, so everything's got to open up and it's happening tomorrow. Uh, and that's when the key price will be 1.13 ETH, which is very cheap considering all that we're going to be offering, uh, honestly. So, yeah. Hey, Bogger, uh, what price did you buy goblins at? I minted goblins and I swept them at 0 0.02 or so. Uh, how did you mint them? Like, I, I didn't hear about them until they were already on secondary. Right. I, I well, I minted them. Uh, I minted them using uh, Mimus, and it's like I think I had seven wallets, so I minted seven. You consolidate them, uh, and then I bought you know five or so afterwards. But like, how did you know that they were minting? Because it wasn't over Twitter. No, it was just uh, I was just following signals of smart people that uh, that we have tracked. And so that comes through. I review it with all the data. That's the thing. It's not just a signal that says this is minting. We've created completely custom alerts that are showing you information about the deployer, when the contract was made, all of this like in-depth information available to you right then. So it's off of that signal that, you know, and, and the love of the art that I was able to make that call. Exactly. So what the message of that was, and that's not like a shell story. It is it's true. Like Bogart saw that one of, one of the main uh, free, men free mentors that we follow, uh, we got signals through our Discord that he was minting. Bogart looked into it a little bit deeper on his own, started minting from his own account, uh, then bought on secondary. Uh, what was like the floor price the second or third day? Do you know? I think by the second or third day, it was somewhere around 0 0.5, 0 0.6, which was a 50x from mint. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I believe it, Topped at like eight Ethereum? Nine. nine. I think combined goblins and burgers, nine and a half ETH was the all time high. Cool. So, ETH also ETH. wanted to add that I believe the entire first day it was under 0.1. I believe the entire yeah. first, yeah. So, it's not like the things that will be mentioned will be things that, like, hey, it's just us buying. Um, it'll be things where there, there's room to get in. Same thing with Moonbirds. Uh, Moonbirds launched, they came out at like four Ethereum. And infinite, infinite amount of people could have gotten in at four Ethereum and sold for a profit. Had they had 
the right tools and people telling them, hey, this is a buy. This is something you do buy. Like some people just need it. They just need you to poke them and say, yes, yes. And then everybody makes money together. Um, it won't be some, oh, 2,000 people all get the same signal. So 2,000 people all buy and pump together. It'll be 2,000 people or hopefully 2,000 people uh, all making smart, informed decisions together uh, and then profiting from those decisions. Uh, even today, if you're still holding your goblins, you have a burger worth like 1.2 ETH, you have a goblin worth 2.8, you have four of them from something that you could have bought in the first couple of days for less than one. So yeah, just uh, this entire tool, uh, we don't need everybody to like rush in right now and buy while it's cheap. We don't need everybody to mint it out when it gets to 1.1. But for the people who like this appeals to, for the people who feel like this solves a problem for them, uh, and for anybody who's been involved in other analytics and alpha tools, they'll know how affordable this was. Uh, when it was all said and done, we had you know the value prop done and we were talking about like, what is a fair price for this? Uh, pretty much the entire team thought that one Ethereum was a joke and it was worth 1.5 to 2.5. And that was when Ethereum was like $3,000. Uh, so now Ethereum's $1,500 successful for, for 0.68. Um, and if you follow along the tools, if you uh, take in the information that will be, you know, handed to everybody, uh, if you, you know, engage in the community, uh, you should get that money back uh, from the fruits of your labor. Or if you're already doing perfectly fine, if you're super profitable right now, if you're making great decisions and they're panning out great, uh, more times than not, then maybe you don't need this. Uh, but personally, uh, it's not easy. It's really not easy. I wish this was here during the last bull cycle. I wish I had, uh, you know, this type of tool so that I didn't have to feel like I was everywhere at once. Uh, so that, that's what this is. It's just, you don't need to scour everywhere. You don't need to invest in everything. This one thing should be enough to elevate your game, to elevate everything um, that you could need to be a successful trader. Uh, will we give you advice on how to identify uh, the next generative mint? Probably not. Will we give you advice on uh, who is the next breakthrough artist that's releasing uh, a project? Maybe. Uh, but will we give you advice on how to make smart and informed decisions? Uh, for sure. Will we open channels for people to discuss uh, things that they've learned and things that they're looking at 100%? Uh, so that's what the consortium key is. Uh, super affordable price. Um, it's not a profile picture. Though in the future, you know, it's not like we can't create a fun profile picture for the community if they if they want it. Uh, but, you know, it's just opening the doors to a lot of like minded individuals. And you'll know that everybody in that discord uh, paid their way in. I know if anybody here is in marketing or sales, you've always heard like the the saying that I could give you this information for free, but then you wouldn't listen. If I make you pay, then you'll pay attention because you gave me money. Same thing with college. People wouldn't take college seriously unless they pay $20,000 a year uh, or unless they got a scholarship. So you kind of got to pay to enter. You kind of, and all, most all of the funds will be used to better your experience. So it'll go to people. It's not like there's some project founder who hired a Fiverr artist to create a profile picture for you. Uh, you're paying the team to give you better information. Uh, that's all it is simply. If you want to still be in Metaverse HQ and have our alerts, go for it. If you want to be uh, a subscriber of IC Tools and be in our channel, that will elevate your game. Uh, but I, I believe that everybody should uh, at least have a consortium key as their like baseline. Uh, and I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm not saying there's not better stuff out there. Uh, it's it's all opinionated, but this is probably one of the most fair mints and fair, uh, fair you know dollar to utility that I've seen. Uh, and I'll be minting my own as well. Like, not, sadly, I'm not going to get in for free. I saw Bogart minted his. Uh, everybody's minting their own. Uh, you know, we have to pay the analysts who are going to make the reports. We have to pay the developers who are going to make the tools. So we don't get free passes. Um, but yeah, I think that's all. Um, if we have any questions, if anybody wants to ask a question, feel free to. If anybody just wants to refer friends to this recorded space, go for it. Um, no FOMO. Like, 
the the mint will be open as long as there's two like, as long as there's some to be had but after the next i believe like 24 hours bugger is that it 24 or what 12 yeah i think at this point with the time it is there is about 14 hours left to mint at these prices and then the rest of the keys will be 1.1 eth or 1.13 eth forever which i think is a very very fair value um and I think if people don't buy now, they're going to be FOMOing in later when they when they see what the channels open up and, and reveal. So I hope to see a lot of you in there. And I, I already see a lot of familiar faces. So, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and like you said, FOMOing in. Uh, and it's not because they're FOMOing in because it's like, oh, everybody's making a profit off this key. It's FOMOing in because they heard the message. They said, that sounds like it's something good for me. Uh, but I need to hear somebody else say it's good. So if that's the case, then once we open up our channels... Um, and everybody sees exactly what they'll be working with. Uh, they will be, you know, hopefully sharing it with their friends saying, Hey, this is a good value. Hey, this is something you should get. And you will be able to get in, but it will be 1.1 instead of 0.68, which it's, this isn't a FOMO tactic, like, but we, we, you know, it's, it's a lot less capital to get in now. If you think this all sounds appealing comparatively to waiting for 1.1 and, uh, we know the value like Bogger as Bogger's like. I, I, for those who don't exactly know Bogger, I know a lot of familiar faces are in here. Bogger is somebody who I can message in any 20 or 30 minute interval and he will reply. Uh, Bogger is somebody who is literally tweeting, replying in group messages and in multiple discords at once. If anybody has seen everything there is to offer, it's Bogger. Uh, and he and the team have created something that puts the most beneficial tools all in one spot. So if this sounds beneficial to you, consider getting it if not no worries uh there will always be a secondary market uh and you know warren buffett doesn't buy stuff when it first launches he buys it once it's proven itself to be uh you know uh, a blue chip so if if you're the type of person who wants to wait uh that's fine too it is whatever you think it's worth uh but super excited for this um i <laughs> this mint date uh like the 18th has been set for like two months. Uh, the team set it in the middle of the bear market. It just so happened that now is the perfect time for everybody be, to be getting these tools and for it to be coming out. Um, I think this will be very beneficial to people over these next few months because if you ask anybody if it's going up, down, or sideways, nobody knows. Uh, but we can make the best decisions based off the information we have all together. Uh, so cool. Hopefully we get uh, a lot of you in there. Um, the channels open up in twelve hours. You said, Bogart. Yeah, I think for I think the channels open up at like ten a.m. Pacific, so sixteen hours for the channels, fourteen hours for the mint window. All right, cool. So yeah, in fourteen hours it'll go to one point one, uh, and then two hours after that we'll open up the channels. Uh, and yeah, so if you just want to like set an alarm for that too, if you want to set an alarm to see what people say they see. Uh, go for that too. But otherwise, hope to see you all in there. Uh, right now, the Discord just has one channel open for everybody to talk in, but we will unveil uh, the other curated tools and uh, information channels that are being worked on in uh, 14 hours. So cool, uh, 16 hours. So cool, hope to see you all in there. Uh, if, you have, if you know anybody who has been interested in uh, these type of tools and isn't here today, feel free to share this space with them. It'll be recorded. Um, and you know, I, I hope we get up, down, or sideways uh, confirmed because if we go sideways, NFT should take off. If we go up, our, our stacks are based in ETH and SOL or whatever you trade in. So our dollars should go up. And if it goes down, then we can see where we can rebalance our portfolios to be positioned the best for if we do get a reverse. So yeah, sweet. Uh, see you all there. Uh, any last words, Bogart? No, that's it. Just we're really excited about the key and hope to see a lot of you guys in there. That, all right. See you all later. Um, uh, fuck. Uh, I'm so glad that uh, we're getting this rally. It, it, It's very much needed. Um, not for the dollars or anything, but just we're getting a lot of people back. A lot of engines are moving and a lot of projects have been smart recently. Uh, not recently, but during this bear Nobody has released like any major announcements during the duration of this bear. So over the next couple or few weeks, 
will be the time where you'll see all the major teams releasing their announcements. So you'll see probably like the duplicators for doodles uh, have their utility announced or what uh, or finally get used. You'll probably see oddities for moonbirds uh, hatch completely over the next couple or a few weeks. Uh, you'll probably see everybody who has something unrevealed reveal it. Uh, so it'll be exciting to watch that and play those price actions. Uh, and I'll be in the Consortium Key Discord uh, working those plays and deciphering what to do with the information available when that happens. Sweet. Cool. See y'all later. Uh, thanks for coming in. And, uh, you know, stay safe. Stay safe. Stay vigilant. Stay informed.